Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com coming to you from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Today, I'm talking about Scooby Carter, who has once again entered his name into the NCAA transfer portal. I want to talk about the timeline. I want to pipe in a comment from Nick Saban. This was something that Saban said on Scooby Carter right before the Citrus Bowl against Michigan and kind of talk about what it means going forward for the Alabama Crimson Tide secondary. And um, let's start out with right now, just talking about Scooby Carter and kind of the timeline. And he signed with the Crimson Tide in December of 2018. It was an early signing period, really excited um, about this commitment coming to Alabama. A lot of people really excited about, you know, just what he could add to the defensive secondary, being that he's a vers very versatile player, corner, safety, maybe even a star position as he progressed with the Crimson Tide. Then in 2019, he saw time against Duke, New Mexico State, and Southern Miss. Didn't have a lot of stats, obviously, because he only played in three games. Had um, I don't even know if he had a tackle or two. I think he had like two tackles or something like that. Um, ends up redshirting. And in November of 2019, he announces that he is going to enter the NCAA transfer portal. And this is what he said during the first time when he entered the NCAA transfer portal. First, I would like to thank the University of Alabama and the coaches for helping me, allowing me to play the sport that I love at such an amazing school. I also want to thank my teammates for always pushing me to be the best. But after talking with my family, I believe it's best for me to rethink my decision and enter my name into the transfer portal. Now that was back in November of 2019. So fast forward a little bit, Scooby Carter actually withdraws his name from the NCAA transfer portal on January 16th. And here's what Nick Saban had to say just before Carter withdrew his name from the NCAA transfer portal. Um, you know, Scooby can have another opportunity to be on the team. Um, uh, and if he wants to start with the team, you know, next semester in school, uh, we'll give him another opportunity at that time. So, um, you know, he did okay in school. And, um, you know, we're trying to be supportive and helpful to get him to do the things that he needs to do to have a chance to be successful as a person, as a student, and as a player. And uh, he will give him an opportunity to come back, you know, next semester if he wants to do that. All right, so now we're in this current semester to start out 2020. And Carter, in late February, announces that he's going to enter the NCAA transfer portal for a second time. And I think the writing's on the wall. I think that it's you know, this has probably ran its course with Scooby Carter being at Alabama. And I think when you look at the overall depth chart, especially in the secondary group, that, you know, it's going to be hard for Scooby Carter to really cut it out on the field. I mean, right now, um, you know, with the corners coming back, it looks like Josh Job will be that corner entering his junior year. You have Ronald Williams, Brandon Turnage. Um, those guys will probably battle it out for the, the other corner spot, along with Jalen Armour Davis. So then you look at the star position, you see that Patrick Sertan and Scooby Carter. It looked like Carter could be a potential, you know, backup to Sertan at the star position. You know, we don't know the exact details of why Scooby wants out at Alabama, but I thought when you look at it overall, he could be a really good fit. Just that he's a very versatile defensive back, and I felt that he could have added some sort of element to Alabama in the secondary, whether it be at safety, corner, star. But I think what's happening is – this NCAA transfer portal is really starting to be a catalyst for play me right now or else I transfer. Now, I'm not saying this is the exact case with Scooby Carter, but I think this is what the NCAA transfer portal has started, right? Because coach is saying, hey, wait your turn, develop, stay in the process, trust the process, gain more experience. You're going to get onto the field. But the NCAA transfer portal has really sped up that get me onto the field mentality because these guys come from the high school level where they're superstars. They come to these major universities, and if they don't like where they're at in the depth chart, then they can enter their name into the NCAA transfer portal. They can talk with other coaches, find out where they're going to be in terms of their depth chart, and then make a move. It wasn't like that, but I think you're starting to see the beginning of free agency in college football. Now, you've all seen the bill that's trying to be – imposed by the NCAA that would allow for players to be immediately eligible if they transfer. That's along with if their grades are online and a couple other variables. So um, welcome to free agency in football. I think we're only going to see more of this going forward.
But for right now, Scooby Carter is once again in the NSA transfer portal. We will keep you posted on his next move on BamaInsider.com. But wanted to bring you this real quick. Scooby Carter, once again, in the NSA transfer portal. Reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this is Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com.